guys, Katie here. So today I'm going to be showing you a how-to contour and highlight video. I'm very excited to show you this video because I just love to contour and highlight my face so much. I think it makes a really big difference. So if you guys are interested in how I contour and highlight, then keep on watching. Hello guys, so first off I'm going to start out with my Clinique All About Eyes Concealer and I'm just placing this on a concealer brush and then I'm going to be placing this underneath my eyes for a brightening effect. This will just ensure that you look wide awake and brightening effects just look really pretty as well. I am also bringing this down my nose and I'm going to be putting this between my eyebrows on my cupid's bow and then on my chin. And everywhere I concealed is also known as your T-zone. And then I'm going to be taking my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge and blending it all out. After that's all blended out, I'm going to be taking my Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder and I'm going to be placing this underneath my eyes and everywhere else we place that concealer. And this will just ensure that your concealer will be locked in all day and there won't be any creasing. Next I'm going to be taking my L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Pressed Powder and I'm going to be setting my foundation which I did not film because of time. And yeah, this will just help me bronze my skin later. And this is the Laura Mercier Baked uh, Powder. And I am just going to be putting this on my cheekbones. It's important not to bronze the skin too low. You kind of want to just do it right on your cheekbone and then blend it up and then blend it down just a little bit. You want to make sure everything is super blended. And yeah, and then you can just see how defined my cheekbone is. It's just crazy how much of a difference bronzer can make. I love it. Another tip would be to be very light-handed when it comes to applying bronzer because you don't want it to be too harsh. As you can see, I am just building my way up. And right here, I'm just making sure it's extra blended because I don't want any harsh lines. And whatever's left on the brush, I'm just going to be putting that along my hairline. And that will make the forehead appear smaller. And right here, I'm putting it on my jawline to make it look more defined. And then underneath my chin so I can get rid of my double chin action. And that's it, guys. It for my contour and highlight video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to check out CosmeD.com and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!